hi everyone welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be decorating some glassine bags to pop some wax seals inside and i must say i'm so happy with how these turned out and i already want to make some more like this um, i'm using a rosy studio collection and i've added some little zigzag stitched borders around the paper ready and um, this is the first time that i'm using my new tripod um, I've previously had a tripod and it fit right in the middle of my arms and I had to sort of try and move around it which is really hard work and in all honesty it was just making me not want to do videos anymore because it was too hard work and um, so after a long hunt I managed to find this one and I do think this video looks a little bit too zoomed out so bear with me while I get it right on the next one I'll do it more zoomed in so I hope you can still see um, everything in this video well enough um, so the first step is I'm just using some double sided tape, I use this nice thick one from Hobbycraft um, just to stick my paper to the bags and I've got these bags from eBay, if anyone in the UK wants a link let me know and I'll find it for you, I need to find it because I need some more myself, um, I love these bags, these ones are like the perfect size as well. So I'm just spreading them out and I decided that I wanted to use some wax seals on the front of the bags as well. Um, this collection is one of a kind and what I do is I just pick out the things that I want to use first of all and get it all prepared and then I just sort of put the bits I want to use on each bag. I just throw it on there so it's in the area and then I go back and sort it all out after. I decided I want to use some of these frames which I make into shakers as well. I haven't made a shaker in ages. I have so such little craft time these days at the minute. I think I'm still just getting used to having a moving house, even though it was literally five months ago, which I cannot get over. It feels like it feels like two months, not five. And just at the time that I'm making this video, we've just got a puppy, um, which is so exciting and probably means I've got even less craft time, but I'll let her off because she is so, so cute. I've been sharing some um, photos on my Instagram if you follow me over there. She's um, a long haired miniature dash hound and she's just absolutely adorable. Um, so back to the crafting. Um, I've just glued on some acetate onto these frames so I can make them into shakers and then I'll just use some little foam strips to create the area to keep the sequins inside. When I was doing this project it was on a Sunday evening and I had my pyjamas and my Udi on and it was just so relaxing. I definitely, definitely want to make some more of these. I already have my next ones planned. So I'll get out my box of sequins and pick out a mix. I think this one was from Cheryl's advent calendar. And then I just do the foam tape and then add the sequins in the centre and add some paper to keep them all inside. I love making these and I haven't made any in ages. And it was, it's quite funny because for such a long time I didn't realise that you could peel the back of these frames off and they're sticky. And um, one day I accidentally discovered it and then I was like amazed and I was telling everyone like, did you know? I'm like, yeah, of course I knew. <laughs> so apparently it was just me who didn't know that. If there's anyone else who didn't know, there you go. I was, I was quite happy to find that out. You don't need to add glue as well because it is quite sticky. I had just the perfect amount of sequins to go in these as well, so I've used this mix up. I use my little spoon to spread them all out. And then I just use this um, pastel pink paper on the back of all of them um, just to give it a nice plain background because all the papers on the bags are already quite patterned so I didn't want to add another patterned one on there. I 
I'm currently hosting a group swap um, and one of the things that you have to do for the group swap is make like a decorated packaging. Um, so I think these are a really good example for what um, like an idea of what you could do for the swap if you're struggling for ideas. Um, I think I'm going to join in the swap myself and I think I'm going to do some of these um, just because I love how much how they turned down and I really want to make some more. So I know that I want to use a frame on each one and a wax seal on each one. So I'll just place them on there and then I'll look through the floral ephemera pack and try and add some um, like different layers on there. So I took some behind the frames and then I put some on top of the frames as well. I love this floral pack from this collection. I think I have a couple of them stocked up because I didn't want to run out. The colours are like so versatile, they'd go with a lot of different collections as well. That's all the floral pieces I'm adding and then I'm going to move on to my next thing that I've pack picked out. I think it might be the um, word ephemera, add a little word on each one. But I glue down my flowers so I don't move them around and lose the placement. I was going to use my Bailey Arts glue but the nozzle always gets really blocked up and I couldn't find the needle pin thing. Um, so I use this Nouveau one. And I tried out using the um, Precise Tip, which I don't know if they're new, it's the first time I've seen them recently. Um, but I wasn't actually that impressed because you have to squeeze the bottle really hard. I'm pretty sure I was doing it right, unless I wasn't. Um, and I couldn't really get it out very well, but then when I took that tip off, then it was fine. So I just used it normally. I didn't really need a fine tip for this one, to be honest, anyway. I just wanted to try them out. I don't use any foam pads to make anything dimensional because I wanted to keep these quite flat because they were going in like flat mail um, so I didn't want to make them too chunky. So that's all the floral pieces stuck down and then I'm just going to pick a little phrase to put on each one. So I put a phrase ephemera piece and also put one of these Rosie Studio word puffy stickers on there as well. I love them and I pretty much use them in every project I do. So I'll try to pick ones which would match, like so it was one matching phrase. It would definitely be better if it was more zoomed in, but I do show a closer look at them at the end so you can see them better shortly. And then for my finishing touches, I add a couple of little handmade flowers, um, which I've been making in this box. Um, it's this part of the video, I accidentally keep putting my head in the video, um, I'm still getting use of a tripod when I was watching it when I was editing this video I was like oh no way <laughs> but I was trying to get a closer look because you need to see them fine details of the gems and the flowers um but I'll have to make sure I don't do that in future videos so I do apologize um so I'm adding a little handmade flowers and then I add some little gems gems are always the perfect finishing touch for my project 
dots, gems or enamel dots. I just love. Yeah, so I also use some of these puffy hearts which come in the collection and uh, I forgot about this. I add a little puffy butterfly on them all as well. I was trying to add as much detail on these as I could. Um, I just really wanted to make something detailed and lots of different elements on it. So I add a little puffy love heart on each one and then I just add some of the enamel dots which are from the collection and I didn't have many left so... I just sort of use whichever ones I had which matched in as best as I could. I don't even have my head in it, I have my full face in it at this point. <laughs> Oops. So they're all finished and I'm going to give you the closer look. Here is how the first one has turned out. I think it looks just so, so cute. And a really nice touch rather than just putting something in a plain bag. Um, and when I gift these out, I'm not going to seal them. I'm going to leave them open so my recipient can reuse them. And here is the last one. So I definitely had so much fun making these and I found them so therapeutic. My wax seals also fit in perfectly, which was amazing. So I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video and hope you'll join me again for my next video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.